Hi everyone, I'm delighted to present this uh, video abstract for a paper that uh, my co-author Melanie Rock and I published in the latest issue of City. Um, and in this article we turned our attention to the databases used by animal control services in Canadian cities. As you may or may not know, uh, it is mandatory in a lot of cities across North America and beyond uh, for pet owners to register their dogs and cats. And so we looked at the databases containing information uh, about dogs and their owners, and we analyzed how they are used to investigate dog bite incidents, uh, neighborly disputes over barking dogs, uh, etc. And so in doing so, we tried to extend uh, the literature on urban policing first by looking into seemingly mundane practices uh, which are more diffuse and harder to notice perhaps than say uh, the forced removal of homeless populations. Nevertheless these practices contribute to uh, an ordering of urban space. Uh, second, we we'll also extend the literature on urban policing by taking into account uh, non-human animals and uh, it is notable in this regard uh, that dogs uh, may pose a challenge for uh, local authorities seeking to pacify uh, urban space, but they're also a resource for them uh, because their status as private property enables local authorities to, uh, to, to govern them uh, more strongly uh, and to, to regulate uh, their behavior and that of their owners. Um, so in terms of methodology, uh, this paper is based upon fieldwork that we conducted in the two uh, Albertan cities of Calgary and Edmonton. And uh, we mobilized mainly two approaches. Uh, the first one is multi-species ethnography, ethnography. And here we sought to document uh, how dogs inhabit and constitute urban space and how they are being treated by and we did so by following animal control officers, uh, notably during ride-alongs that we that we did with them. Uh, the second approach we draw upon is database ethnography. Uh, it, it builds upon the insights from science and technology studies, and uh, we more specifically looked into how databases are constructed, uh, using which categories, uh, how they are curated, shared, and deployed. Uh, and ultimately, we sought to get a better understanding of how human values and epistemologies are embedded into these uh, social technical systems. Um, now, I, I'll give a, a brief overview of the main results we, we generated from this study. And first, um, we, I, we, I'd like to borrow uh, the concept of legibility from uh, the anthropologist James C. Stockcott. Uh, to show that there's a lot of simplification going on uh, with the creation and the curation of animal control databases. Uh, for instance, um, while an animal can be cared for by several humans and, and develop complex relationships with them, uh, only one form of relationship will be recognized within the database, and that's uh, one of property, uh, the one that ties one specific dog to one single human. And ultimately, this contribute, these contributes to making dogs legible uh, in urban space. And, uh, alt and legibility, with legibility comes governability. Um, in fact, animal control services will seek to have the most complete data set possible and to be aware of every single dog-related incident, uh, ultimately because uh, their objective is to act very early on as minor incidents occur uh, in order to prevent more important, uh, more hurt, harmful events uh, such as dog bites. The second point I would like to highlight here is uh, that we mobilize the concept of trans biopolitics to make sense of the complex set of relationships, uh, of power relations in which dogs uh, can be entangled. Um, and so building upon Foucault's concept of uh, biopolitics, we draw attention to the fact that dogs are subjective to power relations that extend beyond the lines of species, uh, but that are also uh, at the same time socially situated. 
Um, in other words, local authorities impose regulations that apply on, on humans and canines and that will change their behaviors. Uh, but we also need to consider how dogs can be treated differently uh, depending on their owner's social status, which is something that we uh, were able to ob observe. Um, I will leave it at that for this uh, video abstract and encourage you to read the paper if this presentation piqued your curiosity. Uh, before leaving, I would just like to thank our research participants as well as the city editors and uh, anonymous reviewers who, uh, who looked at our work. Thank you very much.